was good gang thanks so much for coming or coming back to kick it with a river of brown skin john if you are interested go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep this content moving around you y'all already know what's up go ahead go ahead go ahead All right, y'all, so today, as you can tell by the title, this message is called, You're Not Crazy, okay? You see what you see, you just know what you know, and you have what you have because you were in position and in place, you knew where to be to receive, you were open to receive, right? When we say open to receive, that means so many different things. It doesn't just mean financially, it doesn't mean just a tangible item being given to you. It could be um, more gifts, more intuitive gifts, spiritual gifts. It can be more knowledge. It can be peace of mind, right? Um, clarity, healing, okay? Um, and this comes in a form or in a space of, that a lot of people aren't able or, or have not even done the work or have decided not to do the work to get there, right? So then they are stuck in their reality, their reality, right? but not true reality. And then they might look at you and think you're some whimsical freak, some, some crazy motherfucker, right? But I'm gonna get into that some more. People will try to make you feel like shit, call you crazy, medicate you, call the folks on you, all because of shit that they do not understand. You feel me? This brings me, when I was putting this message together, the movie Room popped in my head immediately, okay? If you haven't seen the movie Room, um, here's a spoiler alert now. Um, so basically, the little boy, well, a lady was a girl. I'm going to say she was a girl at the time of her kidnapping. She was kidnapped, and she was uh, stowed away in a shed in this man's backyard for years. And in the process of this, this man used to come in and R-word her and, you know, and ended up they produced a child out of that. And she loved this little boy so much. And so she would tell him all kinds of stories about um, how the outside is and how the wind feels and how what trees are and what grass is and how, how you know, laying in the grass to look at the clouds and things of that nature, right? But what brought, what stuck out to me the most was for this message was the fact that this baby hadn't experienced this for himself, right? So he was, merely going off of what his mother was telling him, right? So he didn't really know if this was a figment of her imagination because she it was a figment of his. He didn't really know anything for facts, right? And so with that, he could only go off of kind of what the story was, right? Until he experienced it for himself. But in comparison to what I'm speaking on, a lot of people don't reach that experience level, okay? And another thing that brought, uh, that came to me when putting this together, you know, it was overwhelming for this young man, okay? It was like when the veil is pulled back, you know, you start realizing certain things, you're conscious, you, you, you know, you're going into other levels of consciousness. So now you're like, yo, what the fuck? Some people are not receptive to that. So they'll run back, put the veil back on, okay? I'm under the covers. I don't want to know shit, okay? I'm comfortable the way it is, you know? And other people aren't. Other people know something ain't right. They spirit, they soul is screaming, this is not right, you know? And so those people, us people, we go and to the unknown and we dive into it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. A lot of things are so foreign because of conditioning and brainwashing, okay? Instilling things in us since childhood, you know, going to school, going to church, just simply pass down um, traditions and such, okay? Pass down ways of doing things and thinking, right? It's, it's just all conditioned. There was nothing that ever set us forward to say, you find your own way using these tools. You know, we just kind of went with what was given to us and what was taught to us, told to us, and that was that. Okay? Um, they put foreign things, the foreign things, the uh, what were kind of extraterrestrials, things that are not of your norm normal, right? They put those things, um, excuse me, y'all, in the movies and on TV, and they tell us that they're fake or unattainable, you know, in real life, right? And then they take those fake things and say, no, this is the real, right? Y'all already know that, but, you know, just gotta get into that too, right? So it was like, 
Um, and, and they put that fear in you to not even try, to not even want to. No, 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 no. If I do this, they're going to do that. If I try this, this will happen. And so you stay in that space of fear and stagnancy and complacency and you go nowhere. You do nothing. You try nothing new. And you're going in this nasty cycle of insanity. Stand on who you are, okay? Stand with what's within. It doesn't... So what I was saying on this part, if it doesn't unfold months or years from now, you didn't receive the message. You didn't receive the download for nothing, okay? Um, it, it matters and it means something. So this is... Uh, specifically for people like myself who get on here or any platform whether you have a platform at all and, and you just you know and this don't have to be um based all in spirituality either it's in general right if i got the tools and i got the knowledge and i'm i'm an example because i'm actually in action doing this shit i'm a walking example right and i'm telling you yo try this try that try that and then you know what i'm saying and you're like no no, my mama did it like this, and my mama did it like that, and my grandma and my daddy, you know, but ain't none of them graduated or elevated to a next level yet, right? But I'm steady telling you, I'm telling you the tea, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to take that message, you don't want to take that tea, you don't want to take those tools. You don't, I'm not telling you, you ain't got to use shit. Put it in your back pocket. If it come up, there's no such thing as a coincidence, so you dive in, right? But some people are not equipped with that. They don't care to. They don't want to, right? And that's okay. But it doesn't take away from your your uh, your validation, right? I um was watching this video, and I love this girl. She's so deep. And one thing that stuck out to me, she said, "Stop trying to prove the truth." And my God, like it went all the way through me. I'm like, I needed to hear that. And this is me being vulnerable with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to prove it. You don't need validation from anybody. And I know a lot of times we'll be like, well, I don't need nobody validation, blah, 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 blah. But in hindsight, you're still kind of looking for it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if, for instance, like if you have a dream message or if you read cards or if you just have, um, that's like you're clear audience, clear sentient. You just feel, you just hurt, you heard something. Saw it in your third eye. You just know something and you're trying to share these messages, share the wisdom, share the tools, whatever it could be, right? With the outside people external to you. And they don't want to accept it. They don't want to receive it. That does not take away from the, the validation of the message. It still stands. Because well, like I said, whether it unfolds a month, to years from now for you well for me because you gave that message this shit happening right now right also it could be somebody on the opposite side of the damn country to you that needed this message and ain't nobody you around resonated for that's also okay you don't need a bunch of people telling yeah 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 i believe you i believe you i trust you i trust you it doesn't matter it doesn't matter just to go see us uh, uh you know Look at any prophet, for that matter, any in any religious text. You know, there were always people against these people trying to deter the truth or belittle them in some type of form or fashion. You know what I'm saying? But what is, is, and what does, does. You know what I'm saying? Like, the truth is the truth. So whether I'm proving it or not, that bitch is still going to stand and be valid in what it is anyway. And no one can change that, you know? So... I just, I had to throw that in there because I know a lot of times we get so pressed to show, like, I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. And you don't need to prove that you're not crazy. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you move, the way you do, is going to prove that anyway. You know what I'm saying? People are desensitized these days without feeling literally they don't feel shit some people is they're a product of their environment of their trauma and so they can't and they don't know how to get out of that rut and they don't want any resources or tools because they're they're used to that it's comfortable for them you know and so it's like how the fuck 
do you argue with someone whose compass is broke? Because remember, your spirit is based in your intuition, right? So it's like, it's which is something that you feel. So intuitively, my spirit will tell me something. I had to feel that, you know what I'm saying? I felt it. And that defies all logic. Because I could feel something that doesn't make sense to you. Doesn't make sense to anything that is known here in this realm. But that does not mean that it's false. You know? That's like talking to a damn wall, literally. I can't argue with you. You mad. And mad as in crazy. Because what is the definition of crazy? Tr uh, excuse me, insanity. Trying something over and over and over again, expecting different results. So you're trying this same system over and over and over again, expecting something different to happen. Whereas the crazy people, they're trying different avenues to find out how to break this shit down, how to get the understanding that they need, how to find their selves and their path in this shit. Trying different ways, different methods, and how does that apply to me? So then it's like, am I crazy or are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who crazy is? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has the right to view life and live life the way they see fit, okay? And with that being said, so the fuck do you. So do you. Stop trying to validate yourself with other people. It doesn't matter. Spirit, source, your family, your spiritual family, they drop a dime on you, okay? You're out here experiencing these gifts. You're out here learning yourself within this. It don't matter what the hell they think. It don't matter what the hell they say. You know what you know. You have what you have. Move with it. Okay? Because in the end, realistically, this is how your tribe finds you. The real know the real. Realize, recognize, realize. But I'm saying real eyes. Real eyes. I see you. Right? So, I just wanted to share the little tidbit with y'all. Like, for real, for real. Excuse my background. My box is showing and stuff. But, um, I really just wanted to share that because spirituality is not a race. It's not a... <laughs> it's not like I, I, I'm more intuitive than you. Like, it's not a competition, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it in the sense of that's, that's not why I'm, I'm saying this. It's just, I, it's a reminder. You know what I'm saying? Like, take every step with what it is, a step. Take every journey, take every part of your journey for what it is, a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't compare yourself. The comparison is the deep, is the thief. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Comparison is the thief of joy. Okay. So when you allow yourself to be compared to this and well, how I said that message to them, why come they don't listen to me, but they listen to you? It don't matter. Because like I said, them real eyes are going to recognize you. Them real ears is going to hear you. Them real people, they're going to feel you. Okay? So stop checking for the likes. Stop checking for the validation, the, the follows, the, the con you know what I'm saying? If you're a content creator, stop. Just, just leave it alone. don't matter. It don't matter. Because when your time comes, your time is here. Your time will arrive, and it's your time, regardless. No man can change that. You know what I'm saying? If, if, and this is not just speaking in spirituality sense, but whatever it is that you do, like, just do what you do. Your work won't speak for itself. If you're a bomb-ass writer, a bomb-ass author, and you're like, man, nobody won't read my books, somebody's going to read that shit. Somebody's going to validate you. Somebody's going to say, yeah, that motherfucker is a bomb-ass author. It don't matter if 100 people don't even touch your shit. Two people did. And they're going to pass that and pay it forward to the rest of the world and, the, and so on and so forth. And before you know it, your real tribe is going to be arriving. Okay? What's that it, Spirit? Anything else? You have a 
arrived. I don't know why I just heard that. You have arrived. You're here, so be here and be present in that. You're not crazy. You know that you're not crazy. And that's okay. You keep your gifts to yourself and you keep your gifts and you share them with the people that understand them and can appreciate them. And your gifts are not just spiritual base. It's your wisdom, your knowledge, your heart, how you love. Motherfuckers can't receive that shit, then fuck it. Stop trying to prove it. It's already proven. It already is. My hand just started shaking like this. Facts. It already is. Alright? And before I let y'all go, you know how I go. Make sure you keep your shit real. Tell the truth. Always. Make sure you keep your shit raw. No holes bar. We don't got time to hold nobody's hands. Okay? Right? He's scared to go to church. Alright? And then come back and kick it with your favorite brown skin, John. Okay? Love you guys so much. Stay up. Sorry for being home for a whole month.